And you know what? The ones who look good are the least sickest amongst us. That's all. Quote, know you, O oh man, that all that exists is only an aspect of greater things yet to come. Matter is fluid and flows like a stream constantly changing from one thing to another. The key to worlds beyond you is found only within you. For man is the gateway of mystery. The secret is that the one is in the one. Come on. 100,000 years ago, he said, your light, O oh man, is the great light shining through the shadows of flesh. Darkness and light are both of one nature, different only in seeming, for each arose from the source of all. Darkness is chaos, light is order. Darkness transmuted is the light of the light. Quote, deep in earth's heart lies a flower, the source of all the spirit that binds all into its form. For know you that the earth is living in body as you are in your form. The flower of life is as your own place of spirit and streams forth through the earth as yours flows through your own form. In fact, with reference to this last verse, you Christians, you Christians can read the same thing in, I believe it's Job 12 and 7. It says, talk to the earth and it will teach you. Now, if you notice, my brothers and sisters, where in his verses, check it out, what I just read to you, where in his verses did he mention the fact that you need to eat right? Where did he, did he, did he speak about food or vitamins? Herb tonics for you to get where you got to go? No. Until we vision ourselves outside our present perception of this flawed concept of organic reality, we will stay trapped in the cycle of birth and death. And God will continue to die. God will continue to experience the illusion of the grave. God will remain a bio-spiritual zombie. Life is only from life. Life can only be realized and defined by its external expressions in cycles. Before we can continue, we must begin by creating a basic working definition that would best code or decode its reason to be. Let's stay for now that life is a resonating cosmic principle that qualifies itself in its most essential state as the sun. Now follow me carefully. I put this down as a lesson plan. And as a lesson plan, it's necessary for you to see it in linear equations. Because as I begin to speak, certain parts of you will begin to unfold as to the essentiality of yourself. See, right now, you got a consciousness that's based upon this brick wall body that you got. And you really believe that you are your body. You really think that all of the focus that spirit put into the matter that you call your body makes you your body. So you are afraid. You carry fear of dying. You carry fear of flying. You carry fear of driving. You carry fear of expressing true love and feeling for another person. Why? Because you're fearful of getting hurt back in return. And it is your fear that stops you from developing to the next state. The way you become constipated in love. See, your love constipation is what creates your sicknesses. When you do not give it unconditionally to those who are around you resonating on that higher level, then that thing becomes a condition in you. Let me tell you what I just said. If you do not give it unconditionally, you end up getting a condition. And when that condition begins to germinate, it germinates because of your perception of lack. That perception of lack is an illusion. The illusion now, because you are a creator, begins to call all the materials to the point of that reference of your fear, and you catch a disease. Check. 
What did I just say? Somebody stand up and tell me what I just said. Yes, that's it in a nutshell. But now we understand the metaphysics of that statement because usually the preacher just talks shit to you and he expects you to say, well, Jesus did it. Hell no. You doing it. Ain't no goddamn Jesus doing shit to you. You're doing it to your damn self. And ain't nobody going to come back and punish you because if the God is up there wondering about the little shit that I'm doing and he's wondering about punishing, fuck him. I don't want no petty motherfucker like that calling him my God. Do this, call Jesus. The, he's always there ready to kick you back. Oh, he's so sorrowful. Fuck you. <laughs> Ain't you got some business on the other end of the galaxy or some shit? <laughs> Fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> now, I did a lecture talking about the fact that the youngest form of life in any tangible coalescing of reality is a sun. The sun is the youngest form of life. The earth, the earth is older than the sun because it used to be a sun. The sun is the sacrificial sun who gives up its life for the redemption of his children. That's your Christian shit. The son of God, the S-U-N, like your children say, yo, son, they ain't saying S-O-N. In their black matter consciousness, the brother's saying S-U-N, because I see your life. See? So when you, are, when you are understanding that that son that's out there is younger than you, and that by the shift of perception, you believe that you are somehow younger than the sun and the sun is older than you. That is the effects of the illusion that began to work your brain as you went creeping deeper and deeper into matter. And you forgot who you were. But the youngest form of life in existence is the sun. Now as such, life char the life charges in the atmosphere permeates it, and what we see as the life charge of the sun is what we view as light. Now, our ancestor master said in Genesis 2, 7, and Hebrews 12 and 9, just to keep it with the Christians, all you motherfuckers from priceless places who are here right now, <laughs> undercover consciousness, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go run back and tell that shit. Well, run back and tell him that in the Christian Bible, it says in Hebrews 12 and 9 that our God is a consuming fire. What the hell you think that means? So the sun came down and walked as a little man, a little white boy on the earth. How you niggas can even go to church to even listen to that dumb motherfucker up there who got a jet flying around and all that shit telling you that you got to come to Jesus? I don't understand that shit. <laughs> 2,000 goddamn years, this particular solar system was in a stage of evolution within the so-called gate of Pisces. 2,000 damn years, we have been dealing with Christianity that has stultified and constipated the conduits of intelligence. Now we got to play catch up with the whole goddamn solar system because we've been down here worshiping a fucking picture of a white man. <laughs> 2,000 years of catch up. That's why you got to go to summer school and take this super senior uh, gig that we hear now doing. You got to be t uh, talking five, six, and 10 hours. We got to play catch up. We gotta dump this Christian shit and start looking towards the book that's in here. And in here. And here. In Psalms 97, verse 3 to 5, it says, A fire goeth before him, which is the sun, 
and burneth up his enemies around him, which is the darkness. His lightning enlightens the world. The earth, or matter, saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of our Lord, which was the sun. Life, check this, is actualized and activated into matter as solar force. Solar electricity or solar radiation. Whatever it is called, this is the energy that acts upon inert matter. Life is light. Life is solar radiation. That's all it is. This is the energy that acts through organized form. Solar radiation is the life principle to all biologically organized form. Get that into your recognition uh, sequencer. See that as a reactive part of your mind. Know that your essence is light. Your essence is solar radiation. That is who you are. And you're going to see how ridiculous it's going to be when I start breaking down what it is that we do by habit as opposed to who we are and why the habit seems so ludicrous. Now, solar energy activates and manifests varied and specific mental, emotional, volitional, and sensational qualities that are not chemical or physical and are different in every species or plant, animal, and insect life. All of the above represents the qualification of light as atomic perception. Everything in animal, vegetable, and insect form is light qualified as organic perception. Intent is the qualifier of the light. And within the intent are the light-coded instructions that we are here today decoding. So I am touching into that archive, that dark matter archive that you have, wherein lies every page, every word, every syllable of the experience that you had as you sojourned as God throughout reality and relativity. And when you understand, overstand, and understand the essential self, then you begin to see the habits that you do that are not yourself. Right now, as you have developed your habits, your thoughts are thinking you. You are not thinking your thoughts. It is based on your habits and the trigger memory, your, the chemi chemistry of your triggered memory that makes you want to have that tofu burger and that, that Mickey D burger. It is the appetites created by the masturbation of that area of your brain that makes you want to go back and masturbate some more. And that's all habit is, masturbation. <laughs> Psycho-spiritual masturbation. Again, getting ver verification from the little ancestors. Life is the highest, listen carefully, life is the highest qualified presence of omniscient being represented in solar radiation. That is why the theory of evolution, this cave dweller's idea that a higher species ascended from a lower species is asinine and preposterous. Man is the god of his own being and existence. It has written the body, temple, the power within it of propagation and perpetuation. Man has never and will never become extinct because man pre-exists all physical form. Let me say that to you again. Man can never be extinct. Man pre-exists all physical form. So you cannot become extinct. You can just fuck up the form you have and then start creating other types of forms that come back and give you the problems that you got today, if you know what I mean, hint, 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 hint. <laughs> because we did not fall from the highest to the lowest because some low creature crawling out of caves 